Hey YouTube. Well, today is my birthday and I'm celebrating. My family brought me to Mystic Falls. If anybody knows about that, it's a, um, a show on Netflix, Vampire Diaries, The Originals and Legacies. And so we're in Covington, Georgia right now. Celebrate my birthday and this is what I'm standing in front of. Mystic Falls Grill, y'all. Do y'all see it? The Mystic Grill. But also, do y'all hear my baby smacking in my ear? Oh, with my his bad. Dome. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm so excited. That's my oldest. What's your name? Hi, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, check her channel out, Delia Janae. But yeah, guys, I'm so excited. But yeah, I'll be coming to y'all throughout the day. And oh y'all, let me show y'all the um the clock top. It is so nice, isn't it? All right, back to me. Okay, guys, now I'm in the alley. Mystic Falls. That's a sign. This is so amazing, guys. And I just bought me a shirt and a pop socket. Oh, right. You're in the right place. Did y'all take it to him? That's my husband, y'all. Guys, guess what? I just got the best gift ever. Well, not the best gift ever for my birthday. But this lady offered to give us a free tour on her golf cart. Golf cart, I'm sorry. A Mystic Falls. How lucky am I today? What a blessing. So, in a little bit, we're going to be doing um, a tour, a free tour, because I didn't um, schedule one. I didn't think I had to. I didn't know. Well, I should have known it would have been this busy, but yeah. But anyway, we're going to get ready to go on our little Mystic Falls tour. I went, in, I went into the um, alley shop and bought me a shirt, like I said earlier. Of Mystic Falls and a pop socket of Damon, of course. So, see you guys in a few. Also, Hazard County, uh, some of y'all are too young, but there was a thing <laughs> called the Hazard. Back yes, I love the They filmed the pilot, the first five episodes here. In the early uh, 90s, they filmed a show called In the Heat of the Night, and we were oh, smart of really? Mississippi. And then, of course, in 2009, we became Mystic Falls, Virginia. Right up there on the top of that building is when Damon first came to town and he was uh, compelling Vicki Donovan. Oh, so yes! Devin had to run up there and save her. Okay. Um, yeah. We're going to see several places. I actually do have to go to work, so I'm going to do this <laughs> okay. kind of fast. So okay. if you see, now that I'm showing you where it's at, you'll realize everything is in five minutes. I told you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hold on. <laughs> Where everything's at, and then you can come back, and as long as you stay on the sidewalk, okay. on the public sidewalk, you take a picture and you step in front of some of the places. Okay. Uh, this was actually the Sparta, Mississippi police station. Sheriff Fort's funeral was held. Oh, where yeah. Caroline sang to her mm -hmm. mom, and it was so sad. We're coming up. Something happened and they 
own shut up. Yeah, it's, really, it, it yeah. really is for real. And it was a Haunted. scene like in the 1800s. Amen. And stuff. That's right. Oh my gosh, exactly. I was saying it. This was so also good. used in a movie called Family Vacation, the remake of it, where Christina Applegate and mm -hmm. the guy that plays the story. Um, this was a sorority house, and she chugs a pitcher of beer. Don't do that, girls. And she <laughs> beer, and she gets on this big jumpy thing, like she was gonna do it back in the day, mm -hmm. and she throws it all up. So this was a sorority house, which is also in a movie starring Melissa McCarthy called Life at the Party, where she goes back to college with her daughter. Mm -hmm. And at the very, very end, there's a you know iffy whether or not they were trying to get Christina Aguilera to do a concert. This is in the mm -hmm. movie. And they flew her in in the middle of the night because they didn't want a whole crowd of people, and she actually did, you know, a concert. So Christina Aguilera was here as well as Melissa McCarthy. It was oh. really kind of cool. This was also the inspiration for Twelve Oaks, which is why they changed the name. It was originally called Whitehall. Mm -hmm. They changed it to Twelve Oaks because it was the inspiration for Ashley Wilkes' house in Gone with the Wind, and the, the name of the place was Twelve Oaks. So when the new owners yeah. bought it and renovated it, they turned it into Twelve Oaks. Margaret Mitchell was from here. Where are y'all from? We're Alabama. from Alabama. Okay, Margaret Mitchell was from Georgia. She had mm -hmm. a cousin that lived here. In mm -hmm. and so that's why she knew this house. Rebecca's house. It's going to be right okay. around the corner and stuff. Hey, so that ghost is in that house in the first place? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's there. On the oh. third floor. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of ghosts around here, y'all. There's, there's a lot of ghosts around here, That is just too nice. Currently, it is being rented. Uh, they are doing an HBO series called Underground Railroad. And the, really? somebody who's in the cast um, is renting the house. Oh, my God. Yeah, so they're filming that here. Ready? Yeah. Oh, God damn it. I'm going to have to take this. I'm sure it's my sister. What's happening? my phone. Oh, my goodness. Hello? It is. I had to go take a tour right quick. Yeah, I can look at the trees. <laughs> Tell them wait. I'll be, I'll be there in 15 minutes. Yeah, they probably. I think they were. Oh, okay. Oh shoot! I didn't do that. Oh, and it's a video call. Oh, how did that happen? Okay. All right, hold on. <laughs> Maybe the early 1900s, maybe oh my gosh. the newspaper editor used to live there. Mm. Yeah, we just wait. It's just so time. pretty here. It, you know what it is? I was born and raised here. They are looking at our. Country. I know. Watching us is kind of going on. I see that young man was looking at all these cute little girls <laughs> on the back of this thing. Um, I moved off to Texas for a little while. I was out there mm -hmm. for about six and a half years, and I was so homesick. Good Lord. Really? Yeah. This is MK's house in Legacies, right here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs>
<laughs> this is also the Tibbs house. Remember the Tibbs? Yeah. Remember the end of the night, mm -hmm. that's where Althea and um, oh, okay. I can't remember Virgil. Yeah, Virgil. Virgil. Bessie starring Queen Latifah. She was a blues jazz singer back mm -hmm. in the, I think it was the 20s and she rose to fame and this was her mansion that she bought supposedly up north when she hit it big. Oh, so okay. Queen Latifah's been 
uh, in town and uh, at our restaurant twice. Oh. oh. Yes. All right, hold on. Oh, there, look, they're taking pictures. <laughs> Mama, this is what I was just watching before we came. I was uh, starting yeah. to mm -hmm. This house was used to the movie Halloween 2. Oh, oh my gosh! Yes. Look, and I just pulled yeah, that up. There it is. Oh, that's oh, what we wanted to see. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can come back. We can come back. 2166. Set, mm -hmm. but I came over here and 
they were walking up and down near this road and Caroline was standing right there. There was a girl from Australia mm -hmm. who came here and found out she'd been to the convention in Las Vegas. Now, if you know anything about the conventions, the guys are the only ones who do the conventions, the girls never do. Mm -hmm. And um, so she had been there, then her and her family flew here just for this, and then they were on their way to Walt Disney World. Well, she found out from the production crew that they were gonna be filming the next day. So she had her family all leave. She changed her flight, stayed here by herself, and I was like, oh my God, I would never have the nerve to do that in a foreign country by myself. I'm like, here's my phone number. If you need anything, you know, you just call me. So she got over here the next day, because they used to let you watch filming and stuff. Got mm -hmm. over here the next day, it was a closed set, which means they wouldn't let anybody come near it. So she called me. And I called all the police officers I basically mm -hmm. went to school with. It's a small town. So I told them what happened. That she's from Australia, so they said, bring her over here. So we sat right there, and they mm -hmm. went and got Nina Dobrev, who plays Elena, mm -hmm. and brought her to Emma. And then they went and got uh, the girl that plays Candace Ackler, who plays Car Caroline Forbes, mm -hmm. brought her over there. She signed, they signed, both signed stuff for her. They took selfies with her. Aww. She Aww. was in heaven. Oh I'm my telling God. you, they were I super, been super nice. Bonnie's house and Caroline's house were the same one. They would just flip the rooms and, and do the really? furniture. Mm -hmm. I thought about this. There's Lockwood Mansion. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, 
Um, so, funny thing about that fountain, this is where they were, Klaus was supposed to drown Tyler Lockwood's mother. Mm -hmm. They came to an impasse on their contractual obligations and couldn't uh, film here, so they moved the whole thing to the square and built a fountain just to drown Tyler Lockwood's mother. Hey, I was just going to say, it looked a little mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It does, but that yeah. is where they filmed, if you'll remember, the beautiful red dining room where Bonnie first started using her magic machine. Mm -hmm. All the candles. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's really their dining room, and they just reproduced really? it on the soundstage. Oh, wow. They reproduced the four the staircase, everything. And then when I went up there, it was so cool because they had a picture of the front yard fountain and everything. Mm -hmm. This huge canvas hanging on my warehouse wall because all this stuff, ouch, all this <laughs> stuff is built inside a warehouse. Okay. So if you got an, and it wasn't a full house, it's mm -hmm. only just parts. And so when you would look out their, their windows up there and out their door, that painting was there. So if they got an interior shot, it would look just like they were still here. You know, mm -hmm. it was really cool. Like I went into this real Salvatore mansion on set, mm -hmm. and I know it was just a piece oh of God. it, and it was the front driveway, and there was a tree and the grass. It looked so real. I mean, I literally looked up and knew that I was inside a warehouse, but I wouldn't touch the grass because it looked so real. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was unbelievable. Also, the house was like not really where they. Wow. It used to be a real house, but they not the Mercedes Benz bought the property and knocked it down. Although they oh never filmed God. inside the house, okay. they filmed the exterior, and then they built their own exterior and interior mm -hmm. on the sound stage. Okay. That's why it, Covington was so important. This is a back lot, basically, that they don't have to spend money on because things are already were already here, mm -hmm. and people are extremely happy to cooperate. You know, we like the movie business. We love mm -hmm. the movie business. So they come here and they just use the properties here. All right, hold on. <laughs> Maybe some wind going. <laughs> with the swing and everything so uh, if you get in your car and you come back you're you know the people understand that there are a lot of tourists here mm -hmm. just if you stay on the sidewalk you can get mm -hmm. the whole entire house okay. there and there um, in the background this is they are private residences so we mm -hmm. just ask that you be very respectful I always tell people it's like we're in the south y'all if you can go looking at somebody's window or in the mail slot yeah. you know, <laughs> climb over the fence or something you might find your your vacation uh -huh. in the back of a police car. Did so, they actually film in that house? They did not. Okay. This is also the stretch of sidewalk. Remember when Elena was jogging? And the yeah. hybrid was jogging. And this is where all that took place. Oh. I mean, pretty much every single thing you can think of outside has mm -hmm. happened right here. So I'll show you Sheriff's office in the courthouse up here in just a second. You'll remember when. Um, they deployed the Gilbert device mm -hmm. and all the vampires dropped all over town, including Tyler Lockwood's dad, which at the mm -hmm. time, by the way, he's a friend of mine, Rob Prelgo. He plays Mayor Lockwood. So, really? Yeah. Uh, so is Chris Brochu, who is one of the Gemini twins. Uh -huh. Remember Liv and Luke? Yeah. So there's a scene right down here I'll point out where they crush the trunk, you know, throw all in from mm -hmm. either side. So he's been to our restaurant. He's done two or three concerts and made appearances and he's super super nice and Rob prago has been down here as well so okay and isn't this up here where that monument is in the middle that's where Luke and Kai merged at? that's right okay. that's exactly right and that's the big magnolia tree mm -hmm. in season one when they had the founders day picnic yeah. the guy the dead guy fell out and they knew mm -hmm. something was going on uh, all right so let me pull right over here oh it's getting cloudy it's cool. Mm -hmm. So, let's show you. Get off here. Mm -hmm. I will show you all the stuff that you can see from right here. They deployed the Gilbert device, mm -hmm. and she had to take a chair and break the window to get out. Yeah. And they took them all over there across the street, locked them in the basement, and set it on fire. So, you see the very last building with the black awning and the red door? Mm -hmm. You're going to need to go over there because if you really wanted to know how Vampire Diaries ended, 
Um, mm -hmm. That was Elena's daddy's doctor's office. And mm -hmm. on the right hand side, it mm -hmm. says Dr. Grayson Gilbert, MD. Mm -hmm. And on the left hand side, it says Dr. Elena Salvatore, MD. So she marries Damon and she mm -hmm. goes into her dad's oh, business. Oh, yeah, they oh okay. Yeah. So right here, this is where Lexi died. Do you remember Lexi? That's yes! Right here. This is also oh right gosh. here. It's also where they um, part the uh, Founders Day, the very last float, and Vicki Donovan comes up, this drunk guy comes up the sidewalk, mm -hmm. and she slashes him to death. You know, yes. Right mm -hmm. so, I didn't, we were right back when we, okay. I didn't yeah. Know. So <laughs> it was so funny because <laughs> Kayla Ewell, who plays Vicki Donovan, she's so sweet. I mean, she really? just doesn't fit the bill of Vicki Donovan in real life. <laughs> But they were doing that, and they couldn't really figure out how they were going to do it. So one of the crew members got up on a ladder in front of our front door with his cell phone to emulate um, uh, security footage. Mm -hmm. and that's actually what they used was a cell phone to, to get it. It was so funny because she's so little. Mm -hmm. And she was like going. <laughs> and we did not um, put to music and mm -hmm. on the screen and everything. It just kind of looks silly. They're like, do it a little harder. <laughs> you know, it was so funny. But by the time they got it all edited and everything, mm -hmm. it looked brutal. I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. So they nicknamed this Stab Alley because so many people have met their demise here. Mm -hmm. These steps right over here is where Tyler Lockwood and the hybrids were coming down. Mm -hmm. Stephen and Caroline were standing right here. We thought they were going to fight, you know, but they didn't. Mm -hmm. This is also where Damon was being haunted by the Civil War ghost. Yeah. So there was a vampire biker mm -hmm. bar. He reached, he was having a hallucination. He reached in his chest and pulled out his still beating heart. Mm -hmm. Have y'all been in the alley yet? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What you didn't know then is they used our alley or gift shop for the green room, which is where they set their table for it. And they go inside and it takes because it's uh, raining weather there. So when uh, Damon ripped the heart out and all this blood everywhere and it rained and it filled up about, you know, about an inch and a half. summer barbecue and Silas went home the whole entire town and got mm -hmm. mom and dad up on the yeah. cut his really? so okay. It's also where when they were trapped in 1980 whatever it was mm -hmm. so Damon and Bonnie come walking through here the uh, both brothers have been in the courthouse I mean there's and then that is the real tower where he right. goes up and mm -hmm. starts the whatever rings that bell and yeah. starts the, the yeah and all that so I mean pretty much every single thing has happened so this is how just so they, neat. Well, no, mom, I how they get well when Kathy was going to jump from the top? Yeah, I was here that day. Okay, so here's what happened. The breakdown, right? The behind the scenes. <laughs> so I got here early that morning because we were still building out Mystic Grill. So we were up here with the builders, and they had a stunt double, and she was early in the morning. She was she was going all the way up, and then she was you know they were dropping her mm -hmm. all the way, oh. all day long. Well, she went up there, and come to find out, there are none right there now. You can see, see up in the top, the little corvells like that. You see those little gray dots that are up there? Uh -huh. Those are red wasp nests. Really? And they were covered, and she was getting stung. So they had to call in an exterminator. They had to get a big cherry picker, a bucket truck, and get up there, get all the wasp out. They were dropping all over the square, everywhere. So later on that night, I kept asking, is anybody here? You know, is anybody here? They're like, no, no. 
Well, I was standing right over there at that monument, and mm -hmm. I um, was watching them film it, and I started watching. She was falling, she was on her back, and then it stopped her about this high. The girl's like, oh, somebody's going to catch her. Mm -hmm. So is it Catherine or is it Elena? Mm -hmm. So when the stunt double came out and she had her hair all curled, I was like, oh, it's going to be Catherine. And so she, this poor girl, up and down, up and down, repeating <laughs> all day long. <laughs> And the scene happened, and what do you know, about 11.45 at night, they bring Paul Wesley, who was actually Stefan, and Nina Del Rev, Elena out, and they and, and played like, oh, we caught her. And that was all they did. That was all they really? did for that whole thing. But yeah. That's crazy. So it was crazy. It was, they, you know, I, I gained a lot of respect for the crew. Because mm -hmm. they're out here 